Hey what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm showing you the Darky OTA app. I do realize it's not out yet, so this is a, a, a pre-video, but I was asked by Fisetto, the creator of the app him, uh, you know, himself, to make a video before the app is released so that you guys know and are up to speed with what the app offers. Now, first of all, there was a competition which went on, and the winner is there. It's the dice, you can't really see it well, um, I don't know if the zoom will help, but the um, OTA uh, icon is there. Uh, today is the 7th of September 2011 so I'm just gonna go into the app and um, it is I mean it's pointless even saying review of an app it's just an overview because this app is absolutely bloody amazing it does everything and anything you want it to do it even makes coffee I mean I was I was told it makes coffee but I'm not quite sure I haven't tested it out yet but apparently it can do that anyway so I'll go through the app with you guys, uh, as in what each function, so to speak, uh, does. So obviously your first uh, tab is your general tab. You've got Darky, ROM, OTA, and info. I'll get to all of these uh, in a while. So general, reboot your phone, uh, reboot into recovery, reboot into download. Useful, quick ones, instead of holding the extended power menu or turning it off or whatever. Um, flash and install file from SD card. Now this applies to installing um, a kernel, be it say Semaphore kernel 1.6 right there, um, or ROM. So you can flash things via this uh, thing. And even you know, for example, I go into my external SD card. I can go into my external SD card and find stuff there as well. So. It allows you a little bit of sort of flexibility as to what to do. You don't have to, you don't have like four different options. There's one option which does all. So remember that. Then we've got install and uninstall system apps. Now this is really useful. It's almost exactly like what in neutrality does, but this does it even better because it even goes into the actual system apps. And be careful what you do here and what you uninstall. Serico has got a brilliant guide. Um, or even a list which describes every single app, as in what they do and if they're safe to remove or not. So if I go to uninstall system apps, that's to uninstall things which are already on my phone, um, it will come up with a load of system apps that I've got. As you can see, some of them are important. Um, I'm, I'm just going to try and think. Um, Say, so for example, phone, dial a tab. That is important, especially if you don't have another phone, you know, so that you can't make any phone calls. Then again, if you uninstall it, you can reinstall it, which is absolutely great. Um, I'll show you an instance of installing an app, because I've uninstalled all the apps I wanted to. So, install system apps. So, there's apps I've already deleted. As you can see, only few, not many. But, um, for example, I deleted a browser. Now, the browser is essential, but if I've got Dolphin browser, I don't need a browser. So, anyway, I want to reinstall uh, Samsung Keypad. That's an easy one. Install Samsung Keypad. Bang, and it's done. Now if I go to the uninstall system apps, it will show it up there. Um, the names are different, as you can see, Samsung Keypad, but just look out for the, they're sorted by their APK name, so to speak, not exactly what they are. So it's Samsung Keypad, but it's actual APK name is AX-T9IME.APK. Uh, uh, so again, I'm going to uninstall the system app. And it's as easy as that really really easy to do so just bear in mind what you're uninstalling make sure you you know what you uninstall over here but obviously there's the you know the standard apps that you can uninstall uh, the ones that you don't quite need um, the normal bloatware apps like all share and things like that are there as well although I did that via neutrality but you know you can do it via this and it's absolutely brilliant because you can reinstall it very easily and whatnot so that's what they're too Restore user apps. Obviously, I haven't deleted anything yet, but you can delete selected and restore selected, which is absolutely great. Uh, backup and uninstall user apps, which again is another uh, useful thing. What this basically does is, you know, almost like um, Titanium Backup does. Um, you can back up your apps, and and then you can um, get them back uh, or uninstall them or whatever you want to do. So that's another one. Set up boot sound. That's well, quite simple. As you, you know, you get a boot sound um, when you boot your phone. I want to remove my boot sound. It's as simple as that. OK, 
gun. There you go. If I want to install it back, that's the SGS1 and the SGS2 one. There's another one via OTA, which made me absolutely crack up, but I'll get to that in a second. Change CSC code. Now, warning, when you do change your CSC code, this is brilliant because uh, one of the guys on the forum suggested it, as in, you know, CSC code factory resets your phone. So there's your little warning that, look, if you do t you click anything, then it will factory reset your phone. As you can see, I'm on XEU. So if I was usually you're on KOR, if you're usually on KOR and you want to change CSE, this is my app of choice. I come in here, bang bang, XEU, install. Once you hit install, your phone will freeze, well freeze, and then turn off. So that's what happens when you go for CSE. Remember um, what CSE does. Um, look that up if you don't know what CSE is. Um, but I've got also a separate video on that. Backup restore system settings. Um, this is really good for um, people which um, are ROM whores, uh, like myself, in other words, which flash a lot of ROMs, um, and you want to back up certain things. Um, again, just like Titania backup, so to speak, but this one actually goes into depth and certain things that I can I can do, like Wi-Fi access points. Very useful, because at work, I don't have to constantly ask for the Wi-Fi. You know, they must be like, why the hell are you asking me for every day or every week for my, our Wi-Fi password? <laughs> You know, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's pretty much why. Um, because I I flash ROM, so I lose the Wi-Fi access point. So you know, you, you can you, you can back up whatever uh, needs be. So finally, we've got set lag fix options. So this is like a Voodoo control um, app. Uh, what it shows is if it's on or not, and if it show and it shows what your state is in, so what file system you're on. EXT4, as you can see, so thus lag fix is enabled. Um, and see, so you can see I can turn off system lag fix and turn it on. These things can be easily done via recovery, but why go into recovery when I can do it here? Once you do your changes, excuse, uh, excuse me, reboot and to apply. So that'll reboot your phone. So there you go. That's a general tab. Now, if you're flashing a, a darky ROM. Um, a ROM, so to speak, um, you will have these options and you'll be very familiar with these because they've been around for quite a while. Um, so just remember at the bottom we've got uh, ad hoc driver as well. Um, and so obviously I don't have to go into depth of these, but wipe user data, install kernel, install modem, system, um, Samsung apps, swipe, fonts, wallpapers, third party apps, ad hoc driver. Tick to install or tick to wipe, untick to do the opposite. Simple as that. And that's when you flash a darky ROM. ROM. <laughs> it's funny repeating. OTA. Now this is what the app is all about. This is absolutely beautiful. Facetto uploads a file and it comes straight over here. You don't get notification that it's being put on, but we you know we'll be getting live notification. That's one of the things the features that Facetto is thinking of having. So, but at the moment, this is what it is, and it's absolutely brilliant. I can download anything right now. So, for example, boot animations, when I had to download them before, I absolutely love this. Um, this is a sort of not tribute, but uh, a sort of thank you to Mike Logan, which um, which uh, donated quite a lot of money, I'm not going to lie, to the Darky team. And um, so, I'm pretty sure this is Goldie and Robbie, which uh, got their theming hands together and... Um, made this awesome, awesome uh, boot animation. So as you can see, sometimes it might take a while to load. Uh, and remember, this is the OTA section. When you're in the OTA section, you're required to have Wi-Fi or 3G access, or 2G, whatever. But you need to have some sort of access. So if I, if I wasn't on Wi-Fi or anything, this might have trouble to load, um, or I won't be able to download it in the first place. So as you can see, if you're in a good connection, you'll be able to do this and you will be able to see this um, anim animation and scroll through it. So if you like it, bang, download the boot animation. I currently have Gold S2 uh, installed, which is this one. So, you know, powered by Supercore, it says. So you can see, look, look, it, takes, it takes some time to load, nothing showing, but just be patient and um, it will come up. So there you go, that's boot animations. Absolutely brilliant, I love them. There's modems in there if you need a flash, which is really useful. Kernels, for example, I am not on Dark Core 3.5 at the moment, so what I'm going to do is flash Dark Core 3.5. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to press OK, and it downloads. Obviously, download is relative to your internet connection, so if you're you know, good internet connection, I'll go faster. 
but I can exit the app as well and you can see there's a notification saying that my app is currently being downloaded um, you can see that right there so we'll go back into the app long press go in there and you can see it there so now I'm just going to show you anything or the other things whilst that's doing that beauty of this app as I said it's because of um, as it's o, you know OTA I can also flash um, over the app itself now as weird as that sounds and as funny as that sounds I can actually flash over the app as in to update the app so when Facetto makes some updates go into application hit that dark key rom OTA and update the app very very easy when you do that hit install and it restart the app I'll show you in a second just wait until that's finished downloading which will be any second now um, but as that's just doing that there you go download complete I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this but uh, what I'm going to try and do is change the boot sound as well to the new one um, oh there you go cool I can download it as well install boot sound there you go boot sound installed kernels Oh, that's because of the boot sound which went for. Okay, well, never mind. If you ever get that problem, by the by the way, if you ever get that problem of you know, currently something's running, for example, um, it well, basically don't worry about it. Just go into Task Manager, exit the app, and go back into the app. It's not really a problem, so to speak. It's just because I was impatient, <laughs> so it's basically my problem uh, rather than anything. But. Um, there you go, redownloading the, uh, the the kernel. So we flashed over, or what flashed over? We've changed the boot sound. Now we see I removed it before, put a new one on, and now doing a kernel. So there's different things, there's visual mods as well, which is brilliant. Um, and there's the info tab finally. Finally, info tab will tell you obviously what uh, device, you know, what, what you're on, dark, you know, kernel, modem, firmware, um, everything like that, and the about section, which is really useful written guide so to speak go straight into the darky rom forums and a donate button which will be up which is absolutely great so there you go that is pretty much it um, I'm just gonna wait for this um, wait for this uh, uh, kernel to inst well finally be ready now as you can see I just hit that button it's going to grant super user permission and it's going to reboot the phone there you go so that's for example flashing over a kernel so the dark core kernel that's how you flash it over simple as that click of a button here's a new boot sound which you'll be able to hear just now it made me quite it made me laugh Darky Rom. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Absolutely bloody brilliant. I love it. Uh, when I first heard that, it cracked me up. I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> oh, I love that. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is pretty much the, um, the Darky um, OTA app for you. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Um, the only last thing I'm going to show you is how to update the app. Um, as in update the app within the app if that even makes sense but um, that is possible so applications dark OTA should go relatively quickly as you can see my connection is not the best in the world so sometimes it takes a little bit of time got a new email so yeah guys um, this app has got a lot of potential uh, not about a lot of potential, but it it is absolutely amazing. As in what it what it offers and what it does, um, is absolutely brilliant. So here you go, dark, install Darky OTA, install. Simple as that. I just updated the app. Obviously, my app version there was fully up to date. When you first launch it, even after you're updated, you'll get this. So just hit continue. That's completely normal. And there you go, you'll be on the most up-to-date uh, Darky OTA app. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, please do rate, comment, subscribe, and 
please do not forget uh, when this comes out uh, to donate to Facetto if you haven't already uh, to the team uh, because they did an absolutely great job um, Robbie, Goldie, uh, Facetto, Darky, uh, John uh, John F from the forums who helped to write this, the about section, Sirico for giving loads of input, um, uh, there's, uh, even Trid for some of the visual things for running the competition, uh, the guy which made the, the, <laughs> the app logo, um, absolutely brilliant development behind that so to compliment Jerome definitely go for it so absolutely lovely app. Uh, should be available in stores in, <laughs> in, in cinemas soon, <laughs> is what I was going to say, but I completely lost my wording. Alright guys, um, see you guys later. Bye-bye.